Hi guys, this is Anandrea from anandrea.com. On today's video blog, I want to talk to you about branding for network marketing. Where to start? Okay, so where do we start? <clears throat> the first thing you have to decide, and you have to decide and run with it. If it doesn't work, you can change it later. But the first thing you have to decide is your target. Now you are on an industry, it could be health and wellness, beauty, travel, any, uh, any industry, marketing, business, maybe <clears throat> you're a lawyer, you know, any business. You have to decide in branding because this can be applied to any business, brick and mortar and, or online or network marketing. But what do you have to do first? Decide who you're gonna be talking to and keep it cohesive while you're providing content and value. So that's number one, decide your target. Number two, you have to create your logo images, like have um, cohesive images all over your platforms and decide your colors. Why? Because this is part of branding you need to have a specific color, let's say Coca-Cola. We, we all say Coca-Cola and the first thing we, we see in our brains is red, right? So the same goes to you. You have to decide your colors for your website and for your banners and for your um, social media pictures for content, it de depends, right? And then the third thing is that you gotta get a blog. We've talked about this before and I'm going to say it again. Your blog is yours, social media is not. You gotta play by their rules on social media. On your blog, you play by your rules. So you need to get a blog and you have to use the images and the logo and the colors that you've decided on step number two. Then on step number four, is that you have to post valuable content daily. Why? Because if you want to be known as famous as uh, Tony Robbins is or Gary Vaynerchuk or Eric Worre, if you know who Eric Worre is, if you know who Sarah Robinson is, if you know who Marina Worre is, it's because they have branded themselves online and offline as leaders. They have authority in their niche and that's what you have you have to do. You have to become an authority to your target market. That's why the first thing that you need to decide is your target. Because how can you become an authority if you don't know who you're talking to? Step number five on where to start for branding is your social media. Keep it cohesive. So the same banner you're using on your blog, you use on your Twitter, you use on your Instagram, you use the same picture as your Facebook and Twitter as well. Uh, all the, the profile pictures should be the same or similar so they know it's you and your beautiful face. Your usernames, sh you should try to make them the same in all platforms. I know that's impossible on some, like I, for example, had to change some of my usernames because they were not available. Or for Snapchat, for example, I, I was not gonna be using it for marketing. I was just gonna be using it for my personal use and then I saw the potential on it and I can't change my username now. So that's what it is. And I have my Twitter with the same username as my Snapchat and then the rest, uh, Instagram, my Facebook. Uh, so keep it cohesive on your social media platforms. Have the same or similar pictures on your profiles and the banners should be the same. On your fan page for Facebook for, your, for you as a leader, have the same one as your blog. On your profile picture for Facebook, you can have something different. It's okay. Uh, it's, remember, it's a personal profile on Facebook. Uh, I talked about it that uh, the video before, uh, yesterday, so check it out. And on all platforms, like I said, keep it cohesive. So people know it's you, use your colors, use your website everywhere, always. Remember, if you're creating images as your content, always add your website to it with the same font so people which is so people know who you are and where they can find more information about you so those are my tips for today on branding on where to start if you're in a network marketing in industry or if you have a brick and mortar company so remember to subscribe to my channel if you liked it it's here i think um the link 
Subscribe to my channel if you liked it. Remember to like, comment, and share if you got value from this video. And remember, there's always a link below my, my, this video on my blog so you can get more information. So I will see you on the next video and I hope this was valuable for you. Have an awesome day and make it happen.